Welcome to another course of serverless with IBM Cloud Functions. This course I'm not going through deeply about the serverless and serverless architecture. This is a hands-on demo how we can deploy a Node.js serverless application into IBM Cloud Functions and accessing through REST API. What is IBM Cloud Functions? IBM Cloud Functions is a functional service programming platform built top on Apache OpenWhisk. This is a typical serverless application where we developers don't need to worry about managing servers and focus on developing code only executed when we require to. I'm going to show you how to create a serverless application using OpenWhisk Node.js template and deploying to IBM Cloud along with configuring API Gateway to get the response from this serverless application. First, we'll create the sample serverless application. I'm using serverless template that is OpenWhisk Node.js. So this will create a sample serverless application along with the configuration, sample handler files, package.json and all. So let's see what are the files is created from this template. So these are the files which is created for this uh, our sample tutorial application. So here is a, a server.yaml file which is having which is the main configuration file for the serverless application. So here is the service name is given as serverless open whisk. So we can give any name whatever you want based on our application. So the IBM cloud will add up there's a space name and function name along with it. I will show you that later part. So the provider is OpenWhisk and the function I'm um, just created is sample created with the hello and the handler and the plugins what we are going to use with this application. And this is a package node.json. It's nothing but a sample node.js application. So that's why it's having. So I'm not giving much about this package node.json. So here is a hello world uh, application. So it's having a simple hello uh, function for this handler. So I'm going to do some changes on this. So I'm going to add some timestamp field, current timestamp. So for that date dot now. Now we have some configuration on serverless YAML file. I'm going to use uh, REST API to trigger this serverless function. For that, I'm going to use events, uh, HTTP event. And the method is get method, get. And um, giving a path, hello world. And giving a response type, as JSON, as we are returning this uh, JSON format, we are just returning the JSON. And we need to configure the API gateway. For that, I'm going to use resources from the serverless configuration. API gateway. And name, we can give any name. So I'm just giving the service or open risk or W tutorial. And we need to give a base path. If you want to give, we can give. So I'm just giving a simple configuration API slash API and enabling the course. If you are requesting from other uh, domain and all, it's required. So pretty good. Uh, we can now start deploying the serverless. Uh, before going to uh, deploying the serverless, we need to log into the IBM Cloud. So for that, I'm using this IBM Cloud CLI. Uh, IBM Cloud login and point and my organization and space. I'm giving. Let's work. Um, it's asking for authentication email ID and and the password. Okay, now it's getting authenticating.
so i'm going to select the region as ugp uk this uh, cloud functions is not enabled in all the regions so that's why i choose the uk so now the login is done now let's try serverless deploy serverless deploy Oh, sorry, I forgot to install the serverless OpenWiz plugin. So we'll do npm install to get the serverless OpenWiz. Now we install this plugin. Now let's try serverless deploy again. The display will uh, package our code and uh, uploading to the IBM cloud. In case if you are getting this kind of error, it's due to because of some configuration missing. So uh, we need to configure the open, uh, open Risk API gateway access. For that, we need to get the current access token. So we can get it from this file. And we need to copy this open token sorry access token now let's exit and we need to export as a one environment variable or w underscore api gateway access underscore token and paste yep now let's do serverless deploy again. Now it's getting deploying. So this serverless deploy will upload the code and uh, creating the API gateway. So now the, the function is created, serverless application is created and return the api gateway path api gateway url so we can open this one with a browser yep now our application is for running serverless application is deployed and it returned the payload and timestamp now let's go to ibm cloud dashboard and see how the functions are created Serverless application in our IBM cloud is called as actions. So we can group the multiple actions into a single package. In case if you are in a single project, is we have a multiple actions, we can group as a pro project name. So right now I'm not given any package name. That's why it's taken as default. Now let's open this function. I uploaded this one, uh, this uh, source code as a uh, zip file. So that's why we couldn't able to see the source code over here and not given any parameters. And runtime configuration, it's a default one. I'm not configured anything. So that's why it's taken the default values and endpoints. So here you can see I enabled the web action. So that's the reason it's created a public API. Uh, you can see on the HTTP method. And this URL is the API connect URL. And this is the URL which is directly triggering the functions without any API. In API connect, we can give the uh, caching layer and all. So this is directly executing, triggering this uh, IBM functions. We'll open this one in browser, see how it's working. And if you are giving opening this one, we need to give the extension. Extension is nothing but the response type given in the configuration. So here I given the JSON. So in browser, we need to give extension as .json. So it's showing some authentication error. OpenBisk is defaultly creating some authentication set for the serverless application. So we need to get the authentication token code from IBM Cloud. So for that, I'm using IBM Cloud function, action, get, and we need to provide this uh, function name. So let's copy the function name. And 
and here you can see in the annotation section require this causes so this is a token we need to pass so we need to pass this as a header parameter along with the request so i'm using some browser plugin to pass the request header so i'm giving name as x require this cause and giving the token yep now it's working uh, same like a payload and timestamp in case if you want to disable this authentication then we can give we can configure from the serverless yaml file we can disable that uh, require open this code in under annotation section this code as false now let's redeploy again now it's uh, redeploying again yeah now the deployment is done and now let's open the browser and see remove the header fu function whatever we passed earlier uh, header remove now let's refresh the page yep now it's working without the headers and we not given any pass like header and this api url is very lengthy so if you want to have a smaller api path then we can go to actions api and this is a route this is the actual API route path. So we can uh, open this one API and we given the path as hello hyphen world. Slash API is the base path we set it for the API gateway. Yep, now this also working good. In this section, we covered how to create a serverless application and how to uh, upload to IBM Cloud functions and accessing through REST API. With the next, session we'll look into how to trigger this IBM cloud functions using some events. Thanks guys for watching this video and giving your support. If you have any queries, please feel free to add your comments. Once again, thanks. We'll meet you on next video.